Hey class, this is a uh, tutorial two, item two, the fridge organizer, uh, the final, uh, the second object that you're going to be making, the final object has placed on the back for magnets, uh, then has places here for like uh, markers or pens or pencils, a little uh, cup here for a drink or a little pad of paper or something like that in there. Uh, and then anything that magnets stick to, you can put this on like the dry erase board or your refrigerator or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the timeline on this just real quick. Don't want to spend too much time on that. I make a component called base. I then create a sketch right here. Just hold on. Right here. I then extrude that sketch out. I then create a subcomponent within base called magnets. I create a sketch right here on the back side of it using the offset tool. I uh, dimension it certain uh, sizing and the location of it. And I use the pattern and I make sure that I dimension it so that it's centered perfectly in here. Uh, next thing I do is I extrude that out. I then make another subcomponent called cup. I create a sketch right here, which is a series of symmetrical circles here using the offset and then uh, the pattern tool with another series of circles uh, with the tangent constraint having it connected um, like so. I extrude out up to the height of the top. I then create another sketch, which just happens to, and you're going to have yours underneath of the cup, but I, I inadvertently dropped mine under the main. And it's just a series of concentric circles that I created that were just slightly smaller to a specific length. And then we simply extruded those down, but not all the way through so that it didn't drop out the bottom. At that point, and let me turn off all these sketches so you can see a little bit better. At that point, I just did a fillet there, which is a rounding of the surface. I did a fillet right there and a fillet there. Then I filleted the inside and then I filleted this right here. And then I fill it to the other side of it, just kind of round off and make it so there weren't any sharp edges on the top of it. All right, that's the object. I'm going to go ahead and pause and get us ready to uh, start it together. Okay, I went ahead and created a file, design file, called uh, Tutorial 2, Item 2, Fridge Organizer. I went ahead and saved it underneath of the folder, underneath your class folder. Let's go ahead and create a component called base. Make a sketch, do it on this XY plane right here. Uh, let's see here. We're going to use this line tool, which is something we haven't really used too much. I'm going to go ahead and click in the center and click up. 90 degree over, over, 90 degree down. I'm going to come down. I'm just going to draw this shape and then we're going to dimension afterwards. It is important that you're seeing these perpendicular constraints, which means that they are 90 degree angles. You want to make sure that's nice and squared up. Okay, to dimension, we're going to grab this dimension tool right here. Click on the largest faces first. Three, enter. This one down here will be three. Enter. This one right here will be 0.1. Enter. And the same for this one right here. 0.1. Enter. Okay. Finish the sketch and hit extrude. And we are going to extrude it to three. So it's a three by three by three base. Okay. At this point, we want to make this the front. So we want to make this right side the actual front. So click to made it right straight on. I'm going to right click it, drops off the screen. You can't see it, but set current view as front Then come back, click on that corner to put it into the isometric, right click the house, set current view as home and fit to view. It drops off my screen, but we've done this together now. Okay. Next thing we are going to do is I'm going to create a subcomponent. So a component within this base component called magnets. Make a sketch. We're going to do a sketch on this face. 
right there. So on the back side of it, okay. We're gonna go ahead and use this rectangle tool and we're just gonna draw a random rectangle here. And we wanna make it 0.9 watt uh, wide and 1.1 tall. And then we are going to use the offset tool and we are going to offset out, which is showing it's a negative number. Okay. So it's going to be negative 0.1. Okay. So we made the offset bigger uh, with an offset of 0.1 there. Okay. At this point, you want to use the rectangle uh, pattern tool. And let's draw a little circle around it, like so. And let's see here. Um, we want to have <clears throat> two going over, and we want the distance between them to be, bear with me, uh, 1.5, like so. I'm going to go to the other direction now. It's going to be this one. We want two items. And we want a distance of 1.5. Oops. Negative 1.5. There we go. And hit enter or return. At this point, we are going to place this so it's right in the middle. And I've done the math already for it. Um, we need to make this side from here to here 0.2 and from here up 0.1. And that will then make it 0.2 over here and 0.1 here and 0.1 down here. Okay, so sketch from here to the side. We want that to be 0.2. All right, it's centered horizontally. And now from the bottom to the top, 0.1. And as long as you could have placed those anywhere, you could have done it over here or down here for the point one, and the point two could have been applied here and here because you're making it centered. So it's going to be point two on the left and right and point one on the top and the bottom. So you could have done it anywhere. Okay. Next thing we are going to do, we're going to go ahead and finish this sketch and hit E to extrude. And we want to extrude one, two, three, and four. And we want to extrude to a length of point 0.1. Okay, so you can see that there. You turn off the magnets, can't see them anymore. You turn off the base, can't see that. Let's go ahead and go back to the base and see it for what it's worth now, which is this right here. Okay, from the base level, we're going to make another component. So it's another subcomponent within the base component, and we're going to call this cup. Okay, we want to do a sketch on the bottom face of the base right there. And it's always good to just kind of say, hey, is that where it's at? Yep, it's on that surface. So I'm gonna go back to the top here and I'm just gonna rotate it so that it's like that. And we are gonna create a circle. Nope, oh, let me go ahead, stop here for a second. And I'm gonna draw the lines here. I want you to do this with me. A line here and here. And then a line here and here. I hit escape to let go, right click, and normal construction. I'll click on the other one, left click it, or right click it, normal construction. I then am going to come under here and get this little point, and I'm just going to create a point right there at the center. Okay, so what that's doing is it's giving us a point that we can anchor the circle that we're about to make to. So I'm just going to place a circle here and make it three diameter. Okay, we want to now use this coincident constraint, which is just gonna bring two points together. So I'm gonna click on the coincident constraint and I'm gonna say we want this point in the center of the circle, and there you go. So at this point, this circle, oops, it, there it is. It is stuck. So you can drag it off, but it goes right back to it. Okay, I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to grab this offset tool. Again, the escape button is just so that you can release whatever you're holding on to with uh, the mouse. And I'm going to offset this inward this time. And it will be it's showing it as a negative. So negative point. 
One. There we go. All right. Um, let's see. Let me pause this for a second. All right. Let me back this up. Come up here some. Underneath this cup. Oops. Let's go ahead and keep that there. Um, okay. So we are going to make now the circles that go around uh, the outside. So I'm going to create a circle and I want it to be one inch. Okay. And I want to make this circle tangent, meaning touching the inner right here. So I'm going to come under here and I'm going to say the tangent constraint and click on the first one, click on the second one and voila. So it is now stuck on that and you can slide it along. Oh, there it goes. It goes back. Um, but it's going to stay connected. Okay, so I want it connected, but I also want it centered here. So this is three long. So we want this to be one and a half from either side, and it'll be centered from left to right. So I'm going to grab this dimension tool, and I'm going to go from here to this, and we want that to be 1.5. Kapow. All right. I'm going to hit... Uh, escape to let go. Almost done. We just got a few more steps left. Uh, let's see here. Go to the circular pattern. And we want to select that item. And the center point is going to be right here. It automatically does a full all the way around in a quantity of three. We want a quantity of five. And we don't want it to go all the way around. We want to do a symmetrical one like that. And then where do we take this to? We're going to bring it in and just bring it just slightly into right there. So what I would like you to do is drag it in so that it goes into that base where it starts coming up right there. Okay. All right. So let's see here. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to turn us like this. Oh, here, I'll just go ahead and put it in isometric. And then we want to extrude all this down here. Ooh, but before we do that, let me go back to the top. We're still in the sketch. Sorry about this. We need to use the trim tool now. And what we want to do is we want to trim off the pieces that are making this all like truncated and separated. We want to make it one item that we're going to extrude out. So we're going to use this trim tool and we're just going to trim off these little pieces. There we go. Um, oops. Oof. All right. Oh boy. What is happening here? All right. Sorry, I'm getting lost here, you guys. Okay, there we go. Trim tool. Trim. And trim that out. And oh, trim, and trim, trim that out. Once we trim all this off, there we go. Okay, so that is all trim off now okay i'm gonna hit e to extrude and we want to extrude that whole entire figure and then we need to grab the outsides too so we didn't do the trimming for that but that's okay okay i'm just going to zoom in and make sure that we have everything on it okay and we want to go not to a distance but we want to go to an object and the object we want to go to is this top surface right here There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Just look at it from the front now. And you can see that it is squared up. You click on the base now. And you can see that we are getting pretty close and that we have raised it to the highest level there is. Okay. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to do a sketch on this face. Drag this down. Rotate it around. 
and we're going to do circles and we want to do a circle that is centered here and we want to go 0.8 there we go and we want to do another circle and you can see that um, concentric circle constraint right there that's what this is concentric circles and saying that it's a shared middle that's what you want 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and 0 0.8. All right, let's bring it back to isometric. Hit E to extrude, and we're going to extrude one, two, three, four, and five, and we are going down with it and we want to go to a distance of uh bear with me i think let's see 2.8 and a cut distance negative 2.8 oh hold on i am something's going on here let me pause this. All right. I know what I think I know what I did wrong here. We need to go back to the cup component. We're still within this cup component when we do the sketch on this right here. Okay. So let's grab this sketch, uh, sketch on this face. I'm going to drag it down, rotate this around, and we are going to place circle there, 0.8, and we're just going to do this four more times. All right, and this last one right here, 0.8. All right, come here, let's hit E to extrude, and we want to extrude one, two, three, four, five, and we want it to be a cut operation, and we want to go downward with it, and we want to go to a distance of negative 2.8. Right, there we go. Take it all the way down and return. Okay, so that is the basic object. We just need to fill it in now. Okay, so let's come back to the base level. All right, and here's the fillet tool. Let's go ahead and fill it. The outsides right here one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to fill it that into a 0.25. Okay, we are going to fill it the inside, 2.05. We are going to fill it this outside, 2.05. Uh-oh. Zero four. Okay, that'll do it. Um, you need to do that one right. Well, let's just see. Let's see if we can get it done. Uh, no, no, we're not going to do that one. And then we're going to come here to this back side and we're going to fill it here. This one and this one. And that will be 0 0.05. Okay, so that is the object. Uh, go ahead and save it. Put it in your folder. Take a screenshot of it and upload, um, and there you go.